Welcome to a new video on my channel. This is my first book video, so I'm kind of excited about that. Today, I thought I would tell you guys about which books I'm most excited to read in 2023. This will be my first video that's up in 2023, but I'm filming this on New Year's Eve. I have to leave in one and a half hour, and I don't know what I'm gonna wear. So I'll try to make this video quick so that I have a little bit of time to prepare. I have my iced coffee. I feel like every booktuber and every book video ever have some kind of drink in their hands. So I made myself an iced coffee and I'm now ready to talk about which books I'm most excited to read in 2023. So the first book I'm going to read in 2023 is going to be Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover. And uh, this is not in like order of when I'm going to read the books. It's just the books I'm most excited to get to in 2023. I asked my sister, which book do you think I should read next? And because I couldn't choose, I'm a Libra, okay? And decisive. Like she doesn't read, but she would, she's like, oh, do you have that book? Oh, I don't know. It's I don't know what it's called, but it's on, uh, you know, Lea Ben? And I was like, yeah, I love her. But my sister was like, okay, so Lea Ben has this video on her TikTok and it's like the sound and it's a quote. And then my sister found the TikTok and she was like, yeah, gotta read this book. Do you know which book it is? And I was like, that's reminders of him, Colleen Hoover. Um, so... That's the first book I'm going to read in 2023, and I'm going to annotate it, which is going to be my first time annotating. So I'm really excited. Another book that I'm really excited to get to in 2023 is Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score, because I've heard so many good things about this book, and I do not know what it's about at all. Normally, I feel like you, booktubers sit down and they like talk about it's about this and that and I'm really excited to read it. But I don't know almost anything about what these books are about. But if I do, I'm going to tell you. But most of them I don't because I love going into books blind. That's the best thing ever. I feel like it's way easier to have your own point of view on the book when you haven't heard anything about it. But I've heard very good things about this. So that's why I want to read it. And also I love the cover very much. It's really cute. I also think the sequel to this comes out in 2023. So maybe I'll read that too if I like this one. And then we have If I Can't Have You by Charlotte Levine. I don't know how to pronounce this name, but it's I think it's Charlotte Levine. I've never heard anyone talk about this book, but this is actually one of the books that I bought because of what was on the back, which I never do. But I did that this time, and uh, I still don't know what it's about, but I believe it's a romance, and I think there's some crime stuff in it. Murder, I don't know, something. It kind of seems like it. You know what I mean? But I bought this book mainly because I love the cover uh, and uh, it reminds me of the Shawn Mendes song, If I Can't Have You. I can't write one song that's not about you. Can't drink without thinking about you. Is it too late to tell you that? Oh, you can make if I can't have you. And I bought it because of that and also because of the back. Because I feel like when I first bought it, I thought, oh my god, that's so cute. But now I'm like... Is she going to kill her ex or something like that? I don't know. But this is the back of it. Samuel, the day we met, I knew I'd finally found what I'd been waiting for. You. Happiness at last, then you left me, and now I'm alone. Everyone I love leaves in the end. But not this time. I'm not giving up on us. I'm not giving up on you. Why am I not able to read this like a normal person? When you love someone, you never let them go, and that's why, for me, this is just the beginning. So, I don't know, I like that. And also, I like that it's, like, short. Because I do not have time to read all of this just to know what the book is about. You know what I mean? I don't like that. It's annoying. So, that's why I love this. And I think it's gonna be good. I actually bought this, like, two years ago. So... 
Another book I'm super excited to read in 2023 is Red, White and Royal Blue um, by Casey McQuiston. Love, 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 love the concept of this book. Like, forbidden or kind of forbidden slash hidden love, I think it is. Some of my friends have read it and they love it. And I have never heard anything bad about this book. Or maybe once, but that that's once, so it doesn't count. And also, everyone has different opinions, so... I haven't read this. As I've said this whole video, I don't like reading back of the books. But on top here, it says, What happens when America's first son falls in love with the Prince of Wales? It, like... I feel like this is gonna be such a good book. It also says here, true love isn't always diplomatic. And I love those two characters that are drawn here. Very cute. So, I'm really excited to read this. I'm also very much excited to read Call Me By Your Name. Uh, because I know that this is a movie and everyone says that the movie is absolutely fantastic. So... And it's with the Matisse Alme, so it should be fantastic. Um, but I hope the book is as good as the movies. I haven't seen the movie though, but... I've actually already started this book, but... The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. I borrowed it from a friend in like summer of 2021. And that was when I was getting into reading. Because I've never been into reading before. And I'm a super slow reader, so it was very hard to start this book. But I actually liked it a lot, and I came to like page 40, but I don't remember that much. So I'm gonna read it from the beginning. And a lot of my friends like this book. The only thing is that I'm a little negative to it because I didn't understand like a lot of it when I was reading it the first time. And also, Sarah Corolli didn't really like this book. I trust Sarah with everything everything so i'm excited to see if i disagree with sarah on this one if i love it or if i agree with her i am also super excited to read the unhoneymooners by christina lauren because i've heard so many good things about christina lauren and i i haven't read any of their books but sarah caroli loves love in other words by christina lauren so much uh so, and I'm trying to find Love in Other Words by Christina Lauren, but I want the right cover. I really want the orange cover with like the paper bits and it says Love in Other Words. You know what I mean? I want that cover. I've heard, if I'm not wrong, that this is an enemies to lovers. Yeah, I think so. It says, for two sworn enemies, anything can happen during the Hawaiian trip of a lifetime. I love enemy slurs, so I'm really excited for this one. And then, Daisy Jones and the Six. I wasn't that excited for this book. I bought it because it's popular on TikTok. And I was like, okay, I'm giving it a go. And then, not long ago, Sarah Crowley, mm, which is my favorite person ever, <laughs> she read this book and she loved it so much. And she doesn't usually love Taylor Jenkins read. But she loved this book so much, and and I think she gave it five stars, so I'm really excited to see if I agree with her on this book. Then we have Confess by Colleen Hoover. If I remember correctly, I think that Just Ali read this book, and she loved it, and that's why I wanted to read it. And also, it has these... I know it's about, like, an, something about art... I think it has these paintings inside. I don't know if this is like a if this is normal for this book if every one of the copies of this book have that, but this book has it and I thought it was so cool. Then another Colleen Hoover book, Ugly Love. I think this is a brother's best friend thing and I think it's like friends with benefits, something like that. That's really all I know about this book, and I don't even know if I'm, if I'm right, but we'll see when I read it. But I've wanted to read this for a long time, so. Then we have A Thousand Boy Kisses, and uh, this book is uh, huge. 
This is literally the size of my head. The thing is, I bought this book of Amazon, and it just came. Like, it's a this copy is huge. I think it's about 400 pages something. No, it's 350 something. It's like, very, it's really tall. Like, look at Confess and this book. It's huge. This reminds me of It Starts With Us because it, start it Starts With Us is also like huge. I have wanted to read this book for so long, ever since Nicole Leno read it. I, I think that was October something last year, 2021. If I'm not completely wrong, I could be wrong. I don't know. I think she said that she loved this book. It's about this girl. I think her name is Poppy. Yeah. And Irune. I think he's from Norway. He's from Norway. I think love sparks between them. I don't know. I just know that the main guy is from Norway and the main girl's from America, I think. And then something about them falling in love. I don't know. I do not know. This thing up here is kind of cute. It says, when kiss can last... One kiss lasts a moment, but a thousand kisses can last a lifetime. So, I mainly wanted to read this because Nicole said it was good, and also because the main guy is Norwegian, so... I'm Norwegian, you know? Oh! One more thing about this book. I saw on TikTok once that One Direction is mentioned in this book. Really excited to read this. The main guy is Norwegian, One Direction is mentioned. Nicole Leno loved this book. What more could you ask for? Really, really excited. Although it's huge. It's not long, but it's just huge and it's heavy. Then we have A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. I heard about this book from Nicole Leno also. And uh, she loved it. And my friend Marlin, she also loved this book a lot. And I've heard like, only good things about this book. It seems really interesting because there's like these files, I don't know, documents and stuff. Stuff like this. It seems really cool. You know what I mean? This is probably the book that I'm most excited to read in 2023. Uh, it's called Funny You Should Ask and I love, love the cover of this book. I think this book is about a girl who interviews this uh, famous guy. I think he's an actor or something. Years, years later, they still remember each other and then they get to know each other and then they fall in love or something. I don't know. I think it's something about that. I really like like the famous person, normal person thing. So that's what I'm excited to read about. And also I love the cover more than anything. And also there's a dog on the cover, how cute. Really, really, really excited to read this book. I feel like I say, so I'm excited to read this book after every book. And then uh, We Were Liars. I have heard so many mixed things about this book and that's why I want to read it next year because I feel like I really want to like know my point of view on this book. And it's also really short. I think it's like 200 and... 24 or something. Let me check. That was a guess, so it's probably not that, but... What?! It's... It's legit! Oh my god, it's 225, but the last page number is 224. Can you see that? You see that? That's insane. What? The- oh my god. I swear to god I haven't checked how many pages there is in this book. Oh my god. What? 
The last book I'm going to talk about in this video is Love on the Brain by Ali Hazelwood. I just read The Love Hypothesis in November and it was one of the best books I've ever read. Five star read, loved it so much. So I'm really excited to see if this is as good as The Love Hypothesis. I've heard a lot of things, a lot of mixed things about this book to be honest because I've heard a lot of people say it's not as good as The Love Hypothesis and it's really it's basically the same story or the same thing you know what I mean uh, but I believe it's because they also work with like science and it's a workplace romance and stuff like that but I don't know cuz I haven't read the back of this and I don't know the plot so <laughs> I don't know but I'm excited to see what I think about this book in 2023 this was some of the books that I'm really looking forward to reading in 2023 and my reading goal is 17 books next year if it was 12 books this year and I got it exactly 12 books um, and then if I get past 17 books it's gonna be 23 books because I turn 17 next year and it's 2023 next year so or tomorrow or in Eight hours. Oh my god. Mm. I hope you liked this video. I really enjoyed filming it, to be honest, talking about books to a camera for an hour. <laughs> I'm going to have a lot of editing to do. Happy New Year. I believe it's a Wednesday when this video comes out. So I hope your year will be great. That was everything. Subscribe. And then I hope to see you in my next video. Bye. Hold up.